A gold medal beautifully draped around his neck, a big hug affectionately delivered by his wife Patricia, and more than 150 million shillings neatly tucked away in his bank account, things could not get any rosier for Stephen Kiprotich. Why then is the Olympic and world champion displeased? Madam Minister, Minister of Sports and Education mentioned the stadium is undergoing. I would like to, I would like her to tell us when, when was it started or where has it rigged? So, in essence, government made a promise that it has struggled to keep. Government might have struggled at the first time of asking, but it still intends to see through the plans to erect the high altitude training center. It is true that government is in, in the process of establishing a high altitude training center in Terriet in Kapchorwa to facilitate the training of athletes in the country. And we have already established um, uh, road infrastructure which will take materials to the site. We have also connected electricity to the site. We have also connected uh, water to the site. Kiprotich will be hoping that this isn't another round of empty rhetoric from government. Clearly, the high altitude training center matters a great deal to Kiprotich. Question though is why? The answer lies squarely in the sleepy eastern Uganda town of Kapchorwa. A backwater to the core, Kapchorwa has countless infrastructure bottlenecks. Its escarpment, however, makes it a magnet for distance runners and marathoners such as Kiprotich. With an elevation of 5,900 feet, Kapchorwa's dirt roads are a runner's paradise. The high altitude means that the air in the backwater is viciously lacking in oxygen. Though tough on the lungs, this lack of oxygen not only enhances one's endurance but also makes one really fast at sea level. Put simply, Kapchora could be Uganda's answer to Kenya's Eldoret. The tectonic furrows in Eldoret have created running paradises like Iten and Kaptagat. Public-private partnerships in Kenya have seen high-altitude training centers proliferate in Eldoret. Kiprotich wants this template to be replicated to help turn Uganda into a distance-running powerhouse. While honoring Kipo Teach in Parliament earlier today, Education and Sports Minister Jessica Lupo reiterated government's commitment to make good on its promise. Whether hers is a promise kept or empty rhetoric is anyone's guess.